Hey, you, yeah, you. I want to teach you how to sell on eBay for two hundred dollars. Yeah, you. More on that later. If you like the content of this channel, and of course you will, be sure to go ahead, push that I, and make a donation before I become roadkill. Seriously, do it today. Okay, this is a business lesson for you. There are many people, Glendon, stop selling stuff. You talk about what you sell so much. I know what you do. I am aware of what you do. You're a storage auction guy, right? You're a videographer, right? You're a podcaster, right? You're a writer, right? You got a Facebook. That's what you do, right? You do one of the, well, I, hmm. You teach people how to sell on eBay for $200, right? Man, when someone sent me the link to that comment, I just fell out laughing. I seriously fell out laughing. Now, the thing is, I've been on YouTube, and this is just a lesson to those of you out there who want to become business owners. There's a great deal of noise, like, don't market too much. You know, if your Twitter feed is all about your marketing, people will be turned off. And I will say to a degree, it's true, and to a degree, it's not. If you are consistently marketing, consistently, relentless with it, and you don't stop, you will get sales. You will make money. If you are, I'm not going to push myself out there too much. I'm going to be very nice. You are going out of business. Now, the reason, I mean, I'm not going to give you where the, where the comment was because it cracks me up. But I will say that for someone with all of the marketing that I do, to even think that I would take money from someone to learn how to sell on eBay, I have roughly, seriously, 20, 20, 25 eBay bashing videos. If that, I'm maybe more, I don't know. Uh, when I was out there, uh, eBay, the Black Ops edition, I didn't sell that book because eBay made some major policy revisions. That was 2009. And I, you know, I had people begging me for that book and I said, it's going to get you in trouble. It's not going to work for you. I wouldn't, I mean, they wanted that book and I wouldn't sell it. I took it off uh, Amazon, pulled down the PDF and only maybe 50 people have that book. And that was 2009. But for someone to even insinuate that I want to teach people how to sell on Amazon or teach people how to sell on eBay for two. Do you get where I'm going with this? I know it seems confusing. With as much marketing as I do, 99, 99.99.99.99.99 people in the world don't know who the hell I am. And your biggest problem making money online is not product, it's not your website design, it's discoverability. You could go out tomorrow, if you have the means, and spend $2 million on this G-Wiz, oh golly wow G website. It does everything. It even massages you when you go to sleep at night. But unless you get traffic to that website, you wasted $2 million. $2 million. This is common. There are people, their whole business model is how to get traffic to your website. And these guys are making seven and eight figures. Teaching people how to get traffic to the website. How to deal with Google. How to change up this. How to do content. These are multi-million dollar per year industries. Maybe billion. I don't know. I haven't done the research. But it's a huge, huge deal. Huge 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 so with that said I don't know how many there's what 950 videos up right now and there's a consistent theme of accountability there's a consistent theme start your own business don't rely on third-party platforms there's this consistent theme but there are still people who for some reason because they can't define me going back to uh, all the things I do first and foremost I'm a writer and everything else leverages from that. Uh, secondly, uh, there was some comments about, like I said, if you like this video or you like any other videos, going forward, 
from now to the beginning of the year, maybe forever, I'm going to go from a donation-based model. And so it's like, oh, that's horrible for business. What the person didn't know was this is a separate business. YouTube is a separate business from another business. There's YouTube, there's Hustlers University, Hustler Consulting, and the Strategic Success Institute. All of those are four different businesses with four different purposes. But if you are the average observer and you're having a hard time putting your shoes on and chewing gum at the same time, imagining someone having four different businesses is just beyond you. Because many people, and that's what the uh, Strategic Success Institute is going to be about. I'm going to give you my shine, give you my process in that space for the people who feel it's worth it. And with Hustle University, that's going to be a training tutorial place to help people transition from having a job to starting a business and becoming an employer. And, you know, Hustle Consulting is, hey, I got this question, bam, bam, bam. Do you see where I'm going with this? YouTube? YouTube is a marketing arm. I, I will tell you something. I've had people offer me money to market their products on this channel, but I refuse to do it because this channel is a business unto itself and it has a certain purpose. Lead generation. This is a traffic gathering device. And one of the reasons that it's so hard for people who only do eBay and only do Amazon to understand me is that you're only doing 25% of business. Yes, yeah, 30, 30, 30, yeah, 33 and a third. Let's say 33 and a third. You're gathering product and you're placing it somewhere. You're doing research and, you, and that's it. That's all you're doing. And if it works for you, bless you. Glad it does. But as each year goes by, it's going to get harder and harder to do that because there are no barriers to entry. Someone can take $25 right now, go out and buy some products, flip them on eBay. If they have the discipline to reinvest, they can flip that $25 up until two, three, four, six thousand dollars $6,000 a month within, I would say, 12 to 18 months. Then take that money, and if they keep flipping it, they can get up to 10, 15 grand a month. It, the barrier entry is very low to those business models, which means the profit is going to be small are challenging to maintain. You may have a month where it's like, wow, I made a lot of money. Next month, oh, everyone saw what you did because everything on the internet is transparent. If you're doing something and you're getting good results, people will copy you. That's just how it is. It's called cooperation. So let's go back to you're only doing 33 and a third of the percent of business. If you have never been an outside salesperson or inside salesperson, you've missed a tremendous lesson. Because this is what a business does. Number one, it has a product or service. That's 33%, 33 and a third of percent of the business, creating the product and service. 33 and a third of the business is sales and marketing. Sales and marketing are not the same thing. Sales is a transaction. Marketing is raising awareness of what you're selling. Big, big, big difference. So if you're only doing 33 and a third percent of business, why do you expect 100% of the rewards of business? That is my big thing with eBay and Amazon. They are just not scalable for most people. There was uh, someone sent me some well, There's this guy, you know, by himself, he did a million dollars in gross sales on Amazon. And I researched it, and it's true. He did. Now, here's the rest of the story. The gentleman that did that, I can't remember his name, has 25 years of experience in business, including sales. It wasn't like he was at home last year said, oh, boy, I think I'll go do some Amazon. <laughs> I think, oh, shit, I did a million dollars in 12 months. No. The man has 25 fucking years of business experience. It took him 25 years of gathering, learning, being online, selling online to develop the repertoire and skill sets to make a million. He didn't do this shit. Basically, you can't do what the fuck he did. You can't if you don't have his business acumen and experience. You can't do it. And stop with this saying the exception is the fucking rule. That for every guy that sells a million dollars gross by himself with a great system, because he's got a great system, he did it, there are a million who don't. Yes, for every million dollar seller, there's millions who don't. Most people 
who consider themselves successful eBay sellers and Amazon sellers are only making a few thousand a month gross profit, net profit, only a few thousand. When you get up to, you know, hundred thousand dollars a month profit, it's very thin air, very thin air. Is it possible? Yes. Now, if uh, let's go to the 25 years of experience, because I don't have 25 years of business experience. I know people with seven to 10 years of business experience who have million dollar years of net profit because they're doing 100% of business. You're not doing a 33 and a third. You're doing, a, you're doing eBay and Amazon, you're doing 33 and a third unless you create a product and use eBay and Amazon as a distribution system that is secondary to your main distribution system, which is either your website or if you are a wholesaler, your distributors. So as long as you continue to do 33% of business, why in the fuck are you expecting 100% of the rewards of business? And that's where many people go wrong. I've said it, and this is partially a rant because after I stopped laughing, I got worried. As much marketing as I do, someone still had that notion. I was like, I got to do a better job. You know, the buck stops with me. I can't go, oh, you're stupid or whatever, even though I do believe the people are stupid. Because a simple Google search and maybe two, two three minutes, you kind of figure out what I do. Um, but still, it's a problem. It's a problem when people are making those kind of assumptions. It's like, okay, to me, I got to take that information so I got to do a better job. I have to do a better job of educating you and letting you know what's going on with me, what's going on in the G-verse. That's one of the reasons Hustler University, Hustler Consulting, the Strategic Success Institute, and the uh, coaching business, I made it very, very freaking simple. Very, very freaking, really simple. Actually, it's five businesses, including the YouTube arm. So when you look at this and you are not looking at it from a eBay Amazon perspective, then it opens up. But if you are looking at it from the linear perspective of, I go get products and I put them on eBay and Amazon and they sell. Ooh. I can say this. If you're doing really well on Amazon and you do not continue to innovate and uh, modify what you're doing, it's going to snowball on you. It's going to snowball in reverse on you. Those profitable months, I mean, I looked at it. I was really getting ready to strongly recommend Amazon FBA for my people. But when I looked at the long-term prognosis, because short-term, go for it. You can make money. You can make gang of money. You could probably level up to six figures net profit in a year or sooner if you've got the capital now and you do really good research. It's this money out there. However, what is the problem with third-party platforms? Once you get addicted to that money and that get addicted to making money from only doing 33 and a third percent of business, it's very hard for you to change horses. It becomes a challenge for you to do something different and make those moves you need to make to get to the full 100% of business. It becomes an anchor, a crutch, a fix, a habit. It becomes so hard for you to make that move and do something else unless you're forced. Uh, a few, a few, about two years ago now, I guess, uh, there was a guy who was doing great on Amazon. Supposedly, I don't know the full details, supposedly counterfeit piece got in, commingled something, he got kicked off, and I think he had to file bankruptcy because he couldn't, you know, he had nothing else going on. He was 100% FBA top heavy, and when that income disappeared, he was up Shit's Creek. I don't recommend that. I don't recommend you know, it's like, hey, put all your eggs in one. But I don't recommend that. What did I just tell you? There are five different business models going on here. That's my diversification because anyone, if I really hammered it, could support me. If I really just sat down and hammered out one channel. But I'm a patient dude. I started 10 businesses. I know that consistency, strategy, and a plan with some patience can have great dividends in the future. But if you are a get money now hustler, meaning, hey, my rent's due and I have no money and you gotta get money, you don't even have the mindset to sit down and objectively even think like that because you're so financially pressed that you can't even think 
a year ahead or two years ahead or five years ahead or even 10 years ahead because your immediate circumstances are so dire that that it, your, your brain doesn't have room to occupy that thought. There's, there's no room at the end for that thought. So understand, I am going to market even harder. I've taken on a new mandate. Uh, my goal is I can't save everyone, but if I can save a few, damn skippy. That's the thing, you know, hey, you know, if you don't like this, I put out the video the other day. This channel's for men. It's rough and rugged. I will say on that, because I haven't addressed the comments there yet, been busy today, that the women took it well. Many, oh, I don't have no problem. Hey, you know, understand. The women took it well, and one guy was like, well, you know, it was a little small-minded to say someone's wearing a skirt because they don't disagree, and I'm just sitting here like, okay, I have to improve my communication. Because my original statement was, if you come to the channel with a feminine mindset, you're probably not going to like it. And there it was. And there it was. Because if you can't tell the truth without people being offended, that means that it's a problem on their side. Now, if you're lying, oh yeah, that's a problem on your side. But if you're telling the truth, and when you're doing eBay and Amazon, you're doing 33 and a third percent of business. Once again, you can support yourself. You can make a lot of money doing that. But I want you to think about this. Say you selling on eBay and this is your 12th year. In the span of those 12 years that you've been selling on eBay, you've never crunched this across the six-figure barrier because you didn't have to. You had a job and say, you know, you were really knocking it out, doing an extra 30, 40, maybe even 90,000 a year profit with your job. There are people who do that. So, you know, you got the house, the car is paid off, and you're financially you're straight. Now, I want you to think about something. What if you had taken those 12 years and created a business that you could have turned around and sold for $30 million? There's a, in Hustle University, they talked about this. This guy, when he was 14, when he was Chinese, he went to China with his parents, set up a distribution business for air guns, the ones for paintball. Uh, 23 years old, so not even 12 years, cashed out at $20 million. So when you say, hey, you know, it's not harmful, mm, really, what's your ideal of harmful? <laughs> what's your ideal of harmful? You know, you got the nice boat and car and stuff paid off or you could have had 20, 30 mil. You know, same time, for, same time, for, actually less. Uh, there's a girl, Isle Origami. Her name is uh, Bella. Four years, $250 million company. I study this stuff because, you know, I see it all of the time. People are creating businesses and they're getting to what I call sick income because in the United States of America, if you make 250000 a year net, that is sick income. That's sick. You know how much money that is? That's sick. You know, it's just sick. That's like, shit, uh, almost 20 Gs a month. And that's, and then, seriously, and that's 5%. 5% and above of the people in this country make that kind of money. Uh, maybe at 250, maybe 3%. So that is sick income. And you can get there much faster with a business than you can, you know, doing 33 and a third percent of business using the eBay and Amazon platforms. Once again, so I put out this rant. Uh, next time I see a comment that's talking about me teaching people to sell on Amazon and eBay, I'll do another one to enhance the message to sharpen the marketing to let you know where I really stand because I'm not for that shit. I'm like, really? I haven't sold shit directly on eBay since 2006. Why the fuck would I be talking about eBay? Uh, Amazon, shit, 2009. You know, like I said, I was thinking about it and I did the long-term research and I was like, ah, and I backed away from it. I will say, if you're going to do something, you got a better chance with Amazon because it frees up your time. So, you know, if you do Amazon and then you take the free time you have to build your business, okay, that, that makes more sense. That's, you know, to me is a win-win. But if you're just doing Amazon and you get a little money and you kick back, then, you know, a year or two years from now when you ain't making as much money, remember, G told you told your janky ass all right this is glendon i'll see you on the good side once again if you like this video hit that eye tap that tap that tap that <laughs>
<laughs> I'll catch you later. All right, this is Glendon Cameron with Hustler Consulting. This is how you get your Hustler Consulting requested video done. Go to the link in the video, make your purchase, and during the checkout process, enter your question here. Once you're done, just check out. Your video will be done within two, within 24 to 72 hours. And an added benefit, if your question makes more than $50 through the donation process, you will receive your feedback. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the good side. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron. And I'm just letting you know I am doing something new. Hustler University YouTube channel is now a viewer supported deal. Essentially, nine out of 10 people benefit from the information of this channel. That's a wonderful thing. Support this channel like a boss. Great advice for you to grow to build. Donate today. You can donate a dollar, five bucks, up to $500. Just hit that little eye or tap that to donate and you'll be golden. Once again, this is something new that I'm doing. I'm going to work up, see how it works out from now to the end of the year. And if it goes well, I'll continue to do so. All right. This is Glendon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the good side.